Asun Agrawal from EQ International Magazine and today I'm here with Mr. Max German Head of Sales at M10 Industries and Mr. Gregor Redman who is the CEO of M10 Industries. Good morning everyone. Good morning. So first of all Gregor I would like to begin with you to have a brief introduction of M10 Industries and what product offerings does it have for the Indian solar market? M10 Industries is uh, developing, producing and uh, shipping um, stringers. That's a soldering machine, high performance soldering machine for crystalline solar cells. And uh, how much, uh, I mean, what, what is the interest of your company in the Indian market and your association with Burjoin Group? Can you please uh, throw some light on that? The Indian market is very interesting to us. Um, we like this idea made in India. And uh, that's why we shipped uh, two of our machines uh, to India in Bangalore to our customer. And uh, they are producing very successfully 24-7 on our machine. It is a very high performance machine. It's the fastest one on the market. And our customer understood that this is giving him a big advantage in the market. So Max, coming to you, I mean, can you throw some light on the on the on the uh, on some figures? How much shipments have we presently done to the Indian market, and how much of it uh, has been through Burjan? As mentioned by Gregor, we delivered those uh, machines with a total capacity of 380 megawatt to our customer in Bangalore. Those are the first ones. It's a brand new product. We're trying just to get into the Indian market and using the experience of our partner Bergen Associates. Uh, in the Indian solar market, or we, we can also say the global solar market has been mainly driven by technological innovations and they have been quite frequent in the last few years. So can you also uh, share some experiences of technological innovations at your company? In our company, we are always for innovation. Uh, so that's a, the major point for us, uh, to develop new technology, uh, to enable our customer to, cheap, uh, to produce in a cheaper way. So uh, the cost efficiency is very important. Fine. So, and uh, also, what kind of uh, competition you are facing in the Indian market? Has it been uh, has it been coming uh, majorly from China, or are you facing some competition from domestic Indian manufacturers as well? The the competition I want to know about. Now the competition for us is, um, well, we have very outstanding features uh, with our machine because it is the only machine that is producing in an uninterrupted way. So all the other machines on the market uh, have to uh, are in a stop and go situation. So for every time when you change a ribbon coil, for instance, when you reload material, they have to stop and then they start again. And our machine is the only one that is in a continuous run. So it's an uninterrupted production. So our competitors are more like uh, other European companies and uh, maybe uh, Chinese companies if they offer a very cheap solution. But uh, customers find out very soon when they look closer into the figures that the cheaper solution is not the better solution for them. Uh, can you share any experience of any uh, recent noteworthy project which you might have done in, in the Indian market and how has been the uh, customer feedback on that particular project? How has been the performance of that particular project? Our customer um, who received the last two machines in uh, Bangalore ordered two machines uh, with a performance of 5,000 cells per hour each machine and uh, is now able to produce with a performance of 5,500 hours. So the customer is very happy. Um, we always give uh, very conservative uh, figures to our customers and um, we do everything to um, at least fulfill these figures or uh, to supply more. And it's already done. That's great, Gregor. So that was a really nice opportunity speaking with you, gentlemen. Thank you so much for your time. Max, Gregor, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.